Welcome to DIY with Joe. Hey, so I am showing you how to make this here pants. Uh, these are my duct tape pants. I uh, made them, I promise you guys, I've been shouting out for a couple weeks now uh, that I wanted to make these guys, um, these duct tape guys. I'm gonna put them on real quick so you can see. Uh, I wanted to do something somewhat embarrassing and somewhat shocking. People would be start to, to see what kind of things you can do that are interesting. Give some attention to my channel so you can see. I think it looks good for a strip club. Um, so I took these and made them out of duct tape. I would suggest you use regular duct tape. Uh, I use more heavy duty stuff. Um, but that's just a taste of what can start to happen on this channel. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where it will go. I want it to start and just evolve as it goes, uh, but take a general direction of using DIY and crafts uh, to, to take the, the channel in a way, in a direction that, um, I don't know, it could be interesting. I'm not entirely sure what's going to come out of it myself, uh, but I want to see it as it starts to happen. Uh, now, scale to the end, because as always, there's going to be a poll which will help you uh, be a part of the emergence of this channel. Uh, where you can share what you want me to make next. I'll have a couple of options up. I don't know what yet. I'll figure it out later. Um, and without further ado, I want you to learn how to make one of those things. Three, two, one. Bam. First thing to do is to measure yourself. You know your waist size, or at least I hope you do. It is just directly translated into the inches that is from one button to the other button around your back, so around your waist. What you need to do, take that, but also measure where your knee is. If you want it above the knee, measure it to where the shorts would fall above your knee. If you want it below your knee, measure it to where your shorts would fall below your knee. That's the length of your pants. Step number two is to create two pieces of fabric. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I am linking right now in the cart on the top right of the page my Duct Tape 101 video. This is how to make duct tape fabric. It is super awesome, super interesting, super neat, and super useful. It's the fundamentals of duct tape making. Now, in addition to that, you'll want to make those two squares of fabric which are going to be more like rectangles um, a certain size one dimension the length is going to be the length from your waist to your knee or wherever you want your your shorts to fall that's going to be the same you the place you just measured now the other one is half of your waist size you want it to go from your belly button to your spine so halfway around your back uh, my waist size is 32 inches, so half of that is 16 inches. And I measured the inseam, which isn't really the inseam, it's just from my hip to where I wanted it to fall, which was slightly below my knee, is 20 inches. So my two pieces, two pieces of 16 inches by 20 inches each. The next thing you're going to do is attach them together so it's one long 32 inch by 20 inch in my case and whatever your case is, attach them together. Step number four was to tape it around my waist. It kinda looked like a skirt, like a kilt, like a skirt, whatever you want it to be. Um, I look pretty by the way, I was gorgeous with a duct tape skirt and I should have kept it like that. Uh, but the whole thing was that the, uh, the being putting it around your waist will show you that you might need to make it a little bit longer or shorter and do that if you need to i believe i had to make it a little bit longer um when i put it around my waist you'll also get ready for the next step by noting where your legs are step number five is to cut out the legs now take a bone saw put it to your leg and actually no don't do that that's a bad idea in retrospect don't do that. Um, you want to take scissors or an, a box cutter or an X-Acto knife and be very careful, of course, because your family jewels or your holy 
cave or whatever you want to call it for girls. I don't know what you call it. I know just I just know family jewels. I don't know a family friendly innuendo that I could say on my YouTube channel for vaginas. Um, but you want to cut that part of the pants, uh, which is now a skirt. You want to cut that middle part out in the front and in the back, so that you you can bend your legs and move your hips at will and it splits into two parts. Now you don't want to cut it completely in half, it should still attach at your back and at your waist, but you want to cut out the area underneath where your crotch will be uh, moving and enable you to attach the other parts of the fabric around your legs. Step number six is to build up the material. Now you'll notice after you cut it, you cannot wrap the fabric enough around your legs to create shorts. This is why you take the back. Now remember I said the back, not the front. You take the back part of it, split down, you take oh, the pants off of course, you take where it's split and you build up the material to make it longer on each side. You don't attach that together, but you want to build up more fabric so you can reach it around from your buttocks over to the front of your legs looped around your legs that you can see me do and reattach it in the next step. Um, now the reason you want to build up the back and not the front is because look at your legs and how they're shaped. If you look at your thighs from your buttocks to your knee, it's not a rectangle, it's more like a trapezoid where your butt goes to your knee at a more steep diagonal angle than the front of your thigh to your knee. That's more of a straight down. You look at somebody's profile and it tapers at the knee um, with a more steep diagonal from your butt to your knee than from the front of your body to your knee. That's why you want to build up at the back to enhance the natural slant of your thighs um, and have the pants be constructed in a way that's more akin with your body. You'll see this on a regular pants, if you look at them from the side, it's not a rectangle, it's actually more like a trapezoid. Um, and, and that's what we're creating here. And of course, step number seven is to reattach. Take the extra fabric af after you put your uh, new almost shorts on, take the extra fabric and attach it to the front of your pants uh, wrapping around the back of your legs coming through the inside of your crotch and attaching it. Don't put it too too uh, too tight because then you'll just cut off the circulation you won't be able to take them on or off. Give a little bit of looseness so you can still take them on or off and reattach them with duct tape to the front of your thigh. Step 9 is to fill in the crotch area um, like I did with my ex. Uh, filling in the crotch area with duct tape. I actually used white duct tape um, like my ex for this and covered it over with black because I actually ran out of black duct tape and um, had to cover that over afterwards. Now on the finished product you only see it on the inside and I can cover that up if I wanted uh, so if you do run out of duct tape you can improvise by using a different color and then covering it over afterwards, just know it's going to be a bit thicker than it needs to be. And I actually made it a bit too thick by using heavy duty duct tape in this project when it would have been a lot more beneficial for me to use uh, just regular duct tape throughout. Um, but in the end, it worked out. So just fill in the crotch area and go on to the next step. At this point, if you have a zipper, it's time to attach it cut a slit from your waist right over your crotch and insert the zipper right there uh, by taping it on the front and the back so you can zipper it open and closed unobstructed. 